we are ready to travel to Chile. Ooh. This will be our first time in Chile. We will spend a few days at the Atacama and then we will travel to Bolivia and uh, we'll travel around the country for two weeks. First, we will fly to Santiago and from there to Calama. in Calama. We will spend one night here and tomorrow we will go to San Pedro de Atacama. This is how our room looks like. And we also have a nice view to the dessert. We will go to San Pedro de Atacama with this bus and uh, if I can give you an advice, try to skip Calama because nothing really happens here and if you can do from uh, Calama airport, go straight to San Pedro. We finally arrived to San Pedro de Atacama and this is our hostel. It looks very cute. And this is our room. Just very simple, but we also have our own bathroom. Today we bought some coca leaves and some coca toffee because coca, coca leaves are good uh, to prevent altitude sickness which can develop uh, above 2500 sea level and today I will make some coca tea from this. Lunch time! We put on some shorts and came to the center to book our tour for us and here at Caracolas it's a bit more busy and this place is full of uh, offices. We booked the tour with Tani Tani travelers to Valle de la Luna and our first stop here is Tres Marias. We will watch the sunset from this place. For today afternoon, we booked the tour with White and Green Travel Agency, and we will see some lagoons and another lagoon, uh, Laguna Sejar, which has very high salt uh, concentration, so we can float on the water. See you there. We arrived to Laguna Sejar, which consists of three lakes, three lagoons, but uh, it's only possible to take a bath in one, which is Laguna Piedra. So first we go to Laguna Sejar, but uh, we can only walk around. Okay, so this is Laguna Sejar, what we cannot really see just from this distance. We arrived to Laguna Piedra. 
very we'll take a bath. outside I'm very salty and it wasn't that good experience as I thought because it was very hard to go inside because also the bottom of the lake is salty so I should have wear my flip-flops it was just a bit painful to go inside and then outside and the water isn't so deep so you have to walk a lot to reach that point where you can float but the floating was very fun these two lakes here very close to each other are Ojos de Salar the eyes of the salt flat and the only way to get in is jumping okay I was kidding you can also plan inside be alright to the Bikinchi Lagoon which has some special bacteria which can produce oxygen and these bacteria, I don't remember the name they were one of the first uh, bacteria in the world Our guide just said that these bacteria appeared on Earth 4000 million years ago and they are special because they can produce oxygen uh, with eating magnesium, iron, whatever you want. This is our last stop. We will have some snacks, drinks, and we will enjoy the sunset. Food, snacks, and the drinks are ready. Very difficult. Very difficult. Cheers! Cheers. 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 Salud! We also booked another tour with this agency so we, we get some discounts from both of the tours I will write down the prices and the name of the agency We stopped in this super small town to have breakfast and then we will continue our road discover some volcanoes and lagoons. We arrived to Laguna Tujahtu. Look at how beautiful is it? The reflection, the mountains. It's amazing. Now you're going to check out the viewpoint. To Salar Aguas Calianchis. We arrived to Miscantilago. It's so silent here between the mountains and volcanoes. This place is amazing, these colors. This is Laguna Miniques. This is just a few minutes from the from the previous one and this is just as beautiful as the other one. I hope you like this travel video. So give some thumbs up and